In this video, we're going to look at how to simplify algebraic fractions. So here we've got a numerical example, 10 over 15. If I wanted to cancel this down, I would divide both the top and the bottom by 5, because, well, 2 times 5 is 10, and 3 times 5 is 15. And if we divide both the top and the bottom by 5, then that would leave us with 2 thirds. So to cancel down an algebraic fraction, what we're going to do is we're going to factorise the numerator and factorise the denominator, if we can, and then cancel down. OK, let's have a look at an example. So here we've got... Uh, x plus 3 over 2x plus 6. Well, the top line, the numerator, has been, uh, we can't factorise that. That's just x plus 3. Okay, so that's x plus 3. Whereas the denominator, you can see we've got 2x plus 6. That can be factorised. We can take the 2 out. So we're going to 2 bracket. Well, that will leave you x plus 3. Notice we've got x plus 3 on the numerator and x plus 3 on the denominator. Well, x plus, if we divide both the top line and the bottom line by x plus 3, well, the top line, oh, well, you would get 1. And the bottom line, well, that would just cancel out. So you just get 1 over 2. So whenever you cancel down x plus 3 over 2x plus 6, the answer would be a half. Let's have a look at another example. This time we have got 4x squared plus 2xy over 6x plus 3y. So what we're going to do is we're going to factorise the numerator and factorise the denominator. Well, on the top line, we can take a 2 out and we can also take out an x. So both of them are divisible by 2x. So 4x squared divided by 2x is 2x, and 2xy divided by 2x would leave you with the y. Okay, and on the denominator, well, we've got 6x plus 3y. Well, we can divide both of these by 3, or these are both divisible by 3. So we'll take a 3 out, and then that'll leave you us with 2x plus y. Notice we've got the same expression on the numerator and the denominator. We've got 2x plus y and 2x plus y. So they will cancel out, and then our answer will just be 2x over 3. That can also be written as 2 thirds x. So but these are both the same um, expression, okay? So you can cancel out the 2x plus y and that'll leave you a 2x over 3. Okay, next. This time we've got x squared plus 5x plus 4 over x squared plus 8x plus 16. So we're going to uh, factorise these quadratics and then cancel down. So let's factorise the top line and let's factorise the bottom line. So on the top line, we've got x squared plus 5x plus 4. Well, that would be x plus 1 and x plus 4. If you expanded those, you'd get the expression on the top line. And if you factorise the denominator, well, let's have a look at that and see what we get. That would be x plus 4, x plus 4. Notice that on the top line and on the bottom line, we've got the same expression. We've got uh, an x plus 4 and an x plus 4. So let's cancel those out. And then that will leave us with x plus 1 over x plus 4. Notice I haven't written the brackets. Whenever it's just one uh, bracket, one thing like x plus 1, you would just write that in the numerator like so. And likewise with the x plus 4 in the denominator, we just write x plus 4. We don't need the brackets there. So that's how you simplify that, uh, that uh, algebraic fraction. Okay, next. This time we've got x squared minus 25 over 10x plus 50. Well, the numerator is the difference between two squareds. You've got x squared and 25. They're both uh, squared expressions, or squared, um, square numbers. Uh, and we've got to subtract. And on the denominator, we've got 10x plus 50. So let's factorise the top line. So factorising the top line, well, that's going to be x plus 5 and x minus 5. On the denominator, we've got 10x plus 50. Well, let's take the 10 out. So that'll be 10 bracket x plus 5. Notice we've got an x plus 5 on the top and an x, 5, x plus 5 on the bottom. So we're going to cancel those out, and then that will just leave us with x minus 5 over 10. And that's our algebraic fraction simplified. And finally, this time, my head's a bit very tricky. I've put uh, some fractions in here, oh, fractions on fractions. So we've got a half x plus 1 over a third x plus 2 thirds. So to cancel this down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both the top line and the bottom line by an integer that will give us uh, leave us with integer coefficients of x. And that sounds complicated, but all I'm going to do is, because the denominator is 2 and 3, I'm going to choose a, a common multiple of 2 and 3, so I'm going to choose 6, and I'm going to multiply the top line by 6 and the bottom line by 6, and let's see what that would give us. So times the top line by 6, well, half times 6 is 3, so that's going to be 3x plus 6. And on the denominator, if we times this by 6, well, a third times 6 is 2, so 2x two plus, and 2 thirds times 6, well, that's equal to 4. Remember, it's, uh, 2 thirds times 6 is the same as 2 thirds of 6, which is 4. So this is a bit nicer than what we started with. We've got integer coefficients of x. 
integer coefficients just mean whole numbers in front of x. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factorize the numerator and factorize the denominator. So factorizing the numerator, well, let's take the 3 out, so 3 bracket x plus 2. And on the denominator, let's take the 2 out, so that's going to be 2 bracket x plus 2. Notice we've got an x plus 2 on the top and an x plus 2 on the bottom. So if we cancel those out, we're going to be left with, well, it's just going to be equal to 3 halves. Well, that's the same as 1 and 1 half. So that's it. So to simplify algebraic uh, fractions, what we do is we factorize the top lines, factorize the bottoms, and cancel anything out if possible.